Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anar and I'm a self-taught software developer. And on this channel, I help you break into and grow in the tech industry. Today, I wanted to cover how to become a front-end developer in Canada. But first, I want to distinguish the two types of front-end developers that there are, because the way you become each of these developers is different. After telling you how to become each of these two types of front-end developers, I'm going to take it a step further and tell you how to be successful in each of these professions. The two types of front-end developers typically fall into two categories, developers that build web applications and developers that make websites, often using content management systems like WordPress and Wix. Websites don't have to be made using a content management system, but that's just an easy way to do it in the modern day. Developers who build web applications are more suited for working in companies, whether it be a retail company like Walmart, a technology company like Amazon, or a small startup. In essence, these types of developers work on teams with other developers where they together build a fairly complex web application. These developers need to be skilled programmers in order to keep their code maintainable and scalable. So this means strong knowledge of JavaScript is important for this role. From a technical perspective, developers that build web applications do more complex work. They need to have a wide spread of knowledge, including HTTP protocols, asynchronous programming, and much, much more. The three major options you have for becoming this type of developer, the front-end developer that builds web applications, is going to college or university, going to a coding bootcamp, or becoming self-taught. You can go to college or university to get a bachelor's degree or a diploma or a postgraduate degree or a postgraduate diploma. The only time when college or university are good options is when you can spare the time and money. All you need to do is ask yourself, can I spare the years that it takes to complete this degree? And can I afford the tuition, expenses, and being out of work for the duration of the degree? If the answer is no, this option is clearly not for you. If you can spare the time and money, then college and university are great options. One thing I do want to highlight, however, is that finishing a degree or a diploma just puts a piece of paper in your hands. It doesn't automatically make you somebody that companies will want to hire. If you attend a college or university, make sure that before you complete your education, you go through at least one co-op or internship program. This will make you employable once you actually finish your program, and it's going to make it much easier for you to find your first front-end development job. In terms of what to study in university, computer science or computer engineering or anything of the sort is fine. In college, computer programming diplomas or degrees are good as well. Your education does not need to be specific to front-end development. Front-end development is just a domain of software development. This again is where the co-op or internship comes in and gives you the hands-on skills that you need specific to front-end development. Your second major option for becoming a front-end developer that builds web applications is attending a coding bootcamp. Coding bootcamps have come a long way in Canada, and they now offer some things that they haven't offered in the past. For example, there are coding bootcamps that have become accredited as real colleges. This means you can use provincial loans like OSAP in Ontario to finance your education at a coding bootcamp. Another financial aid that some coding bootcamps offer is an income sharing agreement. These may work a little bit differently from bootcamp to bootcamp, but typically you sign an agreement where you don't pay anything upfront for the coding bootcamp and once you finish it and find a job, then they deduct a portion of your pay to pay for your tuition. A coding bootcamp is a great option if you can afford it financially and if you can take a few months off of work and responsibilities. A few months is not a very long time, but because it is a very intensive program, you won't really have time for anything or anyone else during this time. And the third and final option for becoming a front-end developer that builds web applications is going down the self-taught route. The big benefit of going down the self-taught route is that you don't have to quit your job and it basically costs nothing. This is a challenging path. You will need to learn everything yourself and you will need to learn what you need to learn yourself because there is no structured curriculum. Generally, it will be much more difficult to teach yourself to code without an experienced instructor to help you when you run into problems, which you definitely will. It takes some grit, but many have done this in the past and there are more free online resources on the internet than ever. Also, this is something you can try, and if it doesn't work out, you can default to one of the previous options. Those are the three major options you have for becoming a front-end developer that builds web applications. Now I want to move on to how to become the front-end developer that works with content management systems and builds simple websites. There is no need to go through a coding bootcamp, university or college degree, or anything of the sort, because from a technical perspective, this type of work is significantly simpler. 
Everything you need to learn from a technical perspective is available for free on the internet and even here on YouTube. You are going to need to learn how to set up a theme using a content management system of your choice, like WordPress or Wix. You may need to obtain some basic knowledge of HTML and CSS, which you can also learn yourself. The great thing about this type of work is that there's a lot of opportunity for self-employment. You can get into freelance work, build a client base and a reputation, and basically work for yourself. You could work for a company as well, typically a web agency. While the barrier to entry for front-end developers that work with content management systems and make simple websites is lower, the pay you receive when working for another company is significantly lower when compared to working for another company and building web applications. In my opinion, if you decide to become the type of front-end developer that works with content management systems and simple websites, it would be smart to start thinking of how to build a business around it. That is all I have for you for today. Let me know which type of developer sounds more appealing to you and drop any questions you have in the comments section. I'll see you in the next one.